and welcome to the Hadron Collider series for the top five humans of all time. So during this series I'll give you five reasons on why my five top humans contributed to us, our consciousness, our world around us and how they made a huge impact um, through their spirits and their time on earth. So the first of my top five humans of all time to talk about is John Fitzgerald Kennedy 1917 to 1963. So the first reason I want to talk about JFK being such an incredible leader is obviously his, his presidency. With his presidency, he achieved some remarkable things in only the thousand days that he was in power. The first thing that um, he really did, which was unique as American president to um, try and tackle, was civil rights. John Fitzgerald Kennedy sat down with luminaries like Martin Luther King and took on the feedback of other people at the time like Malcolm X and really looked for a solution to the race problem that was really dividing America. Very brave move for a president to take on and he was incredibly successful. The space program. So we all know that um, the Russians for a long time owned space and were really making the Americans look second rate. JFK set the benchmark for landing a man on the moon. It was his presidential speech at Rice University that gave the guidelines for the um, deadline from 1969 to 1970 to have a man on the moon. What's super incredible about that is when JFK actually came up with the, uh, the plan, he set a 10 year goal and when they landed a man on the moon, um, Richard Nixon was making the phone call to the astronaut because of course JFK had been dead for seven years but um, an incredible man whose goals lived on past his death. The second reason JFK is a top five human being of all time in my books is sex. So JFK had a uh, hormonal disease which meant he had to be injected with testosterone from time to time. Now this testosterone caused him to have an incredible libido and the man decided to share his libido with hundreds if not thousands of women. He was an incredible lover and he had some amazing, amazing stories. Interestingly, he was putting Marilyn Monroe to bed while he was running the entire country and the free world. So the man was able to stretch himself across different areas, was apparently an absolute sexual dynamo. And I think that's a great characteristic to have. In fact, it ran through the family. While he was with Marilyn Monroe, he eventually dumped her and his brother Bobby Kennedy started putting away Marilyn Monroe. So they obviously had a little bit of um, charisma in that family when it came to the ladies. So my third reason on why JFK is an all-time great human being is really important. He burnt bright. So JFK died at his prime. He was incredibly virile, great looking guy, had the world in front of him and he was tragically taken from us from the bullet of an assassin in 1963. However, by doing that, that assassin's bullet gave us a hero, a story that could never get old. He can never age, he can never make a mistake, and he will always be remembered vividly for his best, very, very best years. If you go to Washington and go to Arlington National Cemetery, he actually has an eternal flame on his grave, and he's buried with one of his children as well. So that the ability to be taken from us at that time his soul still resonates and has um, changed the world we know today and that's why I think that um, he's so high up on the list. Now, number four on why JFK is an all-time great human being, he is the only man who has saved the world. So we have lots of stories of um, Superman and um, different superheroes saving the world. Legitimately, he saved the world. So during the 1960s there was a effort by the USSR at the time to give their um, friends in Cuba some um, nuclear missiles. And those nuclear missiles were going to be located and were being located across Cuba and were within the vicinity of mainland USA. As you can see, Cuba and the USA are very close. Now this was incredibly dangerous because for the first time it gave the USSR the ability to first strike against the United States and knock out um, a huge chunk of their population. Extremely dangerous move and changed the balance of power across the world. JFK stood up to them and he launched what was a naval blockade across Cuba, stopping any more missiles coming in. He played really hardball. That was probably a violation of international law and could have started a war in its own right, but he played hardball. Nikita Khrushchev, who was the uh, Russian Premier at the time, had to back down to Kennedy. 
but there was a few days around a week where the entire world thought this was Armageddon. In fact, they had a doomsday clock ticking down to uh, midnight, which was going to be nuclear annihilation. He was able to defuse that crisis, stop the USSR launching, stop the American military machine, which was telling him to launch from launching, was able to smooth it out, get the missiles out of Cuba. He took his missiles out of Turkey a little bit later. Khrushchev was happy, he was happy, and he saved the world from disaster. And number five on why JFK is a top five human being of all time is an incredible story of his time in World War II. So JFK entered World War II basically because his dad wanted to get him out of trouble because he was womanizing and gambling and doing all those sort of interesting things. And he took it very seriously. He became the commander of a patrol boat, a PT boat. And during World War II, his PT boat was hit with a, tor um, a torpedo and exploded. So JFK swam out and rescued his men, took them to a desert island, and then was trapped on a desert island in World War II. He found some natives of the island and he took a coconut, that's a picture of a coconut that I've drawn, and he engraved on it his coordinates and asked the locals to take it to the local, the closest uh, American uh, military officers that they had seen. The locals then went for a three or four day hike, gave it to the American officials, they read the coconut, picked up Kennedy's men, and he saved their lives. So, JFK, Unfortunately taken from us way too young, but that's part of the reason he is um, such an vital part of our lexicon, such a vital part of our um, cultural tradition, and definitely deserves to be in the top five people of all time in my opinion. Tell me what you think, leave your comments below, and get ready for the next instalment of the top five human beings. Thank you.